Over the past two decades, the Sarah Toss Foundations have generously supported White Memorial Conservation Center's work in building a conservation-minded community. The mid-90s museum renovation was completed in 1998. With Sarah Toss support, this Herculean expansion coupled with ingenious displays, dioramas, and experiential exhibits makes the museum a choice destination for adults, families, schools, and scouts, as well as visitors from around the globe. So welcome to White Memorial, and with me today is my Comments heard Anna over the Collins. years make clear how special this nature museum is. One local remarked when the renovation was first completed, this is better than the Peabody. Visitation in 2014 was up, over 20% greater than was seen prior to the 97-98 renovation. The 2001 89-acre hate land purchase, acquired with the help of Sarah Toss funding, ensures the protection of the Bantam River and the preservation of the historically significant site of the beginning of the winemaking industry in Connecticut. Hate Brown Vineyard continues to use the land for its vineyards. Touring this parcel will reveal a multitude of environments, streams, a pond, Bantam River, lowland and upland forests. Carrie Schved, the center's director of education, uses the site as a summer camp destination, it being, she says, the best place on the property to walk the shoreline and wade into the Bantam River. So yeah, you guys can pet him if you want. He's really friendly. He'll nibble on you probably. But the Sayre Toss Foundations funded Family Nature Day in 2002. This eagerly anticipated annual event attracted 1,300 people in 2015. Live animals, music, hay rides, and top-notch animal educators make this the center's yearly highlight. Family Nature Day embodies the center's four guiding principles in living, breathing, color, education, recreation, conservation, and research. That's it. Now you're getting it. Perfect. Good. In 2003, Sarah Toss funded the replacement of the Pine Grove camping shelters used 85 nights a year free of charge by nonprofit youth groups annually. In 2014, 25 different boy and girl scout groups used the Pine Grove sites. In 2004, nearly half the funds needed to repair Monroe Bridge were provided by the Sierra Toss Foundations. The bridge supports were completely exposed and without the repair, it would have been lost. This is one of two bridges on Little Pond Trail and without it, a section of the trail would have had to be abandoned. Look how beautiful it is. Look at that Martin house. The Little Pond Trail is often featured on local and regional media and is a main attraction to both first-time visitors and regulars. <laughs> okay. okay, we got him. Blackbirds with, with very white bills. It is a destination. The museum's photovoltaic system, completed in 2009, saves the museum an estimated $3,300 each year in electric bills. The geothermal system, added in 2010, saves us an estimated $3,000 each year in heating and cooling expenses. Both projects would not have been possible without Sarah Toss support. Sarah Toss awarded monies used for the construction of 15 double-decker purple prism traps used in an early detection program to summer seasons 2013 through 14. They're also baited with some some scent traps, some scent lures that we've placed inside the uh, inside the prisms. And this is a very similar method to what's been done throughout the state of Connecticut and elsewhere, um, utilizing uh, prism traps that are hoisted up into the canopy, uh, canopies of, of ash trees throughout the state of Connecticut and elsewhere. The emerald ash borer is responsible for the death and decline of tens of millions of ash trees. Ash makes up about 4 to 15 percent of Connecticut's forests and is a common urban tree. Whoa. Wow! Oh, you knew that too, didn't you? You already knew that. Okay, black-capped chickadee. Of course, the cap is the top of the head, 
So that's a very good name for the chickadee. White Memorial Conservation Center sprang out of the Dark Ages and into the 21st century on a number of fronts after being awarded an audiovisual and educational equipment Sir Toss Grant. 60% of Education Director Carrie Schved's on-site programs utilize the Mondo Pad, as do other staff. Rachel Carson, uh, the author of Silent Spring, who published in 1962. A professional high-definition video camera and computer with a video editing program allows resident documentarian and community outreach coordinator Marlo Shammy to craft professional videos. These videos highlight the fabulous programs and events within the center's weekly Habitat Alert e-newsletter. I found coming here and catching the animals fun, especially when people caught the tadpoles and the water spiders and the crayfish. Video is used for outreach purposes targeting PTOs, teachers, scouts, libraries, and also on White Memorial's Facebook page. This is Where We Live. I'm John Dankowski. Maybe not every weekend of the year, but surely 25 times or so each year, I drive from my home in Litchfield County to what I think is one of the most beautiful places on this planet. White Memorial Conservation Center hosted WNPR's John Dankowski's Where We Live program, and it is now available for all to view. So too is Jerry Griswold's compelling DDT lecture and PowerPoint. Use of DDT, and this is from Pakistan. Uh, they just sprayed it directly on people, on children, in the water. Both full-length um, programs, as well as over 100 shorts, can be found on White Memorial Conservation <laughs> Center's YouTube channel. Most recently, the Saratoss Foundations provided the bulk of the funds to procure a new 15-seat van replacing our 1998 vehicle and ensuring continued safe transport for program attendees and research project volunteers and staff to destinations both on and off campus. So thank you. Sarah Toss Foundation, thank you for your support. Foundation funds have made all the difference in our ongoing mission to grow a conservation-minded community through education, conservation, research, and recreation.